Hey guys, my name is Sidiak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. What you are now witnessing is the mega station that I created in New Orleans last episode, which is where we're going to be extended to in today's episode. We're going to hopefully run three train lines into this city. Uh, one coming from Miami straight to St. Petersburg slash Tampa to Panama, straight into New Orleans. You have another one that goes from Charlotte to Atlanta into New Orleans, which will then most likely progress into Houston. And also another one that's probably going to start from Detroit, come straight into Nashville, into New Orleans, and also head over to Houston as well. Guys, this is going to be very, very exciting. There's also a few things I want to do to our current cities as well to make them into more connected. And that is, if I take a look at New York City, for example, when you click on the or well, the actual train station itself, you can see that this is the only radius of the city, you can see glowing right now, that it reaches. So we now need to start utilizing buses. We need to create a bus loop that collects all the people and then brings them to the station. This is going to allow us to make more of the city more connected to the train station for passengers uh, for them to go where they want to. And that's going to also then increase the amount of passengers on our train lines. Oh, this episode is going to be all about people now, boys. Moving them from one place to the other. And it's going to be exciting. So, guys, if you are hyped for this episode, if you are enjoying the series so far, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, guys, please make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when these next episodes do come out. Because we got some big, big infrastructure that we need to build uh, in the next few episodes. So, I think first things first, then. What we need to do is we need to kind of build our line that goes from New Orleans to wherever it needs to go. Now, what I've got to do here is I've got to connect a route from this way, a route from this way, and a route from this way all into one. So I've got three lines that need to come into one. So in reality, I need to pick a line out of these three, which is the straight route into New Orleans, and then the other routes, whatever they may be, will connect to it. So, obvious thing I could do is maybe do like uh, the old the old Cressy Crossy boys, which we've got over there. But I don't technically need to go it in four ways. Even though that could be a good idea, it's not a huge must because they can all interchange at the one station anyway in New Orleans. So, I'm thinking we make the New Orleans run go straight up to Atlanta and then straight into Charlotte. As simple as that is. And then we'll connect these ones to it. Yeah, I think that's how we'll do it. But to be able to do it means there's going to be destruction. So let's pause and let's get this all rocking and rolling. So Atlanta then, if I go to build a train station, we first got to figure out where the train station can be built. So we have a lot of industrial around here, so I don't want to disturb that too much. Uh, I reckon we pull it through this little strip just there. So if I delete you, delete you, and then delete you, we still got enough industrial around for us to utilize. What we'll try and do as well is utilize the roads here. Bring this straight down as a connection like that. Bring in this pretty much straight off. And that complete strip in the middle is where we build our train station. In the center of Atlanta. They're going to love it, guys. Or hate me. Either one. <laughs> Either one. <laughs> so we'll go nice and big on the platform because you know how it is, guys. The bigger the platform, the more products or potential um, kind of pedestrians passions we can get on oh i've just realized as well we've got two industries now i don't know if i'm ever going to utilize them but it'll be nice to know if i do utilize them we can get connected to them so if i brought that to there and then if i bring this road just coming out a little bit more um we'll try and get connect to the side like this all right it's going a bit funky but bear with me now, I'm not saying I'm going to be able to connect to it via the train station, but it would be a good idea if I can kind of connect to it via the train station. So, that there touches that one industry on the right, which is our kind of goods um, industry. I can't get to that one until I build on the opposite side, which I know if I place it more down here, we're, we're going to be perfectly fine. So, if I start then, that's a little bit too big. If I start with building this here, I need to make sure it's high speed, by the way. Very important. Very important. And then place shoe in. And then we need to do some configurations then. So we've got to try and get in the cargo uh, platform. So this is going to be a standard station, very similar to where we've done in many other places. Just a four lane station, two platforms either side. So it'll be one, two, three, 
and that's how pretty much we're gonna do it. It's a shame we can't save this as like a like a like an asset, or can I do that? So I can just place these in many of my cities. The old Sediac special. That's kind of what I want to do. So cargo platforms. We'll just go with that for now. Uh, passenger platforms, because we're going to be destined to use passengers more than anything at this moment in time. Uh, there we go, the little underground passage. And then passenger buildings. That's way too big. That's perfect. Get a couple of small ones in to create a nice little building. And then... We don't have to do it, but we'll get some cargo in as well. We can go for the we can opt for the smaller one. We can do the smaller one on this side. And we can also do like the miscellaneous, like the, the, the small engine lab, but again, it makes no difference. Now this connects to both industries. So if we ever use it in the future, we have the ability to do so. So let's get the train tracks all now set up. I'm not gonna do a underground I mean I could do a tunnel. But in reality, does it does it mean much? I mean, how big? I mean, the crisscross is going to happen have to happen after the tunnel, which then further extends the connectability of it. But there's no issue with me doing this. If I went for the four lane, the only reason I would do it is because it allows us to have the road crossing uh, crossings happen a whole lot easier. So if I went there and then flip this right round. All right, one, two, three, four. That should be perfect, right? Yes. So we can have a road crossing here, and then the city is still intertwined and connected. There's no dramas about that. So if I do one just there, and then I do one a little bit closer, the city is still connected. I could do one further down, but I feel like that's kind of all we need to do on, on, on this side of it. So let's get then the train tracks all connected. So we've got to go in that direction, and it would ideally be good if I could run it connecting to this. So if I run that straight into there like that, run this with us going up, and then we'll try and get it all intertwined here. So in reality, we just need to kind of bring it all in like that, and then do a crisscross. Now I'm hoping I can do it here on the bend, which we can. And that's glorious. So then that will run, uh, sticking to our straight line format. Actually, we'll bring it to about here. So we have a slight little bend on it. Only because, right, when I want to get it connected in right now, I'm going to choose here. How does that work? Oh, that should be perfectly fine. Now I know, they, you know the speed limit drops slightly. But it's to be expected. They are going on a slight little bend. Signal wise, we'll get this all in. Again, I know I don't need to do every single one of them like this, but I'm going to do it anyway because that's how your boy rolls. And that there, as funky as that now looks, <laughs> uh, we're kind of connected. We are kind of connected. So do one there and then just after. Uh, we'll do a couple going down to here, and there we go. So that will do it all for us. I mean, I could delete all that train track and make it a little bit smoother, but I don't think there's too much I need to kind of stress or worry about, so we'll kind of get away with it. Now, this one's going to be pretty much standard procedure, mate. Standard procedure, nothing too crazy going on. For some reason, it doesn't want to play ball here with me. There we go. And I have no idea why these are on different heights, but apart... <laughs> I think that kind of makes it look like... Um, it's a feature, guys, not, not a bug. It's a feature, okay? No idea what you're talking about. Right, crisscross this real quick. Oh, hold on. That's not going to work. There we No. Oh, slope too much. Wait, wait what? In what world is the slope too much? Huh? You know what? We'll delete all this. How dare the slope be too much? How dare they right now? 
It's still- what's going on? Oh, why did I press exit then? Right, if it can't be done now, I'm rage quitting. I almost rage quit. We all witnessed it, guys. We all witnessed it. Right, now, the more I look at this, the more I do not like this. The more I look at this, the more I do not like this. Now, it's all well and good as soon as we come from here. It's what happens, let's say, after this. Right, I'm sorry, guys, but I don't like it. And I know I could see you all right now in the comment section saying, Sadie, yeah, I can redo it. It looks terrible. Listen, I heard you. You ain't got to tell me twice. Right, there we go. There we go. Right, that is how the game deems it to now be run. And it's still not great. There's a sharp turn in. But it, it, it will do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> I'm telling you, got this bit here connected. Okay, sweet. So, every so often again, bam, 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 and that one's there. Okay, perfect. So, we split down to here, right, and we just want this now to run all the way. So, our tracks are high speed here. We just want this to run all the way. Apparently, is a collision. What's the collision? It can go to here, but not that one. Right, if I bring this as it starts to bend. What are they talking about? Collision. Right, that's fine. 2.2 million. That's got... Oh my goodness me. Look at the height differentials. We've got to sort out some... Uh, some terraining on all of this. Now that is a long run. That is a very, 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 very long run right now. And quite frankly, I don't like it. I don't like it. So, it's a shame really because it's quite hard to now go through and delete all this. And look at how much it digs into the ground. Right, this is shocking. Seniac, what are you doing right now? What is this monstrosity that you're doing right now? I did not subscribe for these shenanigans. Right, this is... Why is it digging in so much? Right, let's redo this. So, we're going to stick to our straight... Where's the snap? There. Sticking it straight, which obviously without the, the slight bend that it keeps going on makes connections a little bit easier. And then I need to kind of eventually bend it. So what I'm thinking of is, if I delete it back to here. Right, we're all good there. Uh, keep, delete it back to here. And then run this semi-straight. There we go. And then the bend will come together. Like that. It's a lot cleaner, isn't it, guys? Let's be honest, it's a lot cleaner. <laughs> I don't want the train to be turning too much because at high speed, consistently turning. We'll be putting a lot of pressure on those carriages. Uh, listen, Siri. Why are you listening to... Si my, si Siri, stop listening to me! Damn it, Siri. Uh, so, a connection here would be quite simple. And then same for one coming down to here. Quite simple. So, if I then kind of structure out where these... These connections are going to take place... And is that pointing in the right direction? Uh, that will. Great. So from there to then here. And then for this one, I feel like I'm at the train station running just here. 
so we'll have this pop out to there and then to there and that's again all I need to do so signal it all up boys signal it all up we'll get our first train route up and running and obviously ever so often we've got to do signals of course keep these trains a moving all right keep it going uh, these are high speed ones they're quite long with minimal interruptions for the most part here so we should be okay so that's just before the crisscross we'll then do one after the station is just here and voila so in reality right now i could run a route from charlotte to atlanta to new orleans now the reason i'm picking charlotte is because we already crisscross here anyway from the route from charlotte to boston and then from charlotte down to miami so we've already got that route there obviously we don't have the ability yet to run them to houston texas which is because uh, my rule is and some people kind of disagree with this my rule is and it's not my rule for every game it's my rule for this map because of how far out and how spaced out the cities are my rule is four cities max per passenger line before it then goes back and does it again reason for it being these cities are quite you know spaced out quite far also four is a good enough number that i don't that they, they come frequent enough and at most i'll have to add maybe two free trains possible if i had a route that went from miami all the way up to uh boston if everybody in boston wants to go to miami it'll completely fill the train up and pick up minimal people on the way down so that's the kind of the reason i do it obviously for every game you play it's different but that's my rule in this game um, in this map i should say so charlotte to atlanta new orleans obviously i want to end in uh houston which will be another big hub the only one that's going to probably end in New Orleans is Miami to St. Petersburg to Panama to New Orleans. So, but I can set them all up anyway to kind of, uh, and then I can just add on to them when I want. So, let's do that. Let's kind of, we actually put it back into play mode right now, can't we? Because there's no issues. Um, let's create a new line. And we'll start in Charlotte. We'll go to Atlanta. And then we'll at the moment at this moment in time end in new orleans back to atlanta and then we end up in charlotte that's literally all it's going to do so i'm then going to get a train for this and my nearest train depot my nearest train depot is probably over here so we'll buy a train for it it's going to be electric of course oh no wait it's going to be this one isn't it this is the one that we've kind of been using lately. And I'm not sure what capacity. Was it 162? I was putting a capacity on. I'll buy 162 and we can always change it in the future. But that would be my new line one. And off it goes. It will do the business for us. So simple train back and forth. That will eventually have one more stop. But it kind of makes us all, you know, beautifully connected right now. Thing I'm gonna make sure though is which station is it ending on? Now this is gonna be a through route station. So when it gets to New Orleans, we gotta pick the station for it. So New Orleans, oh wrong wrong button. There we go. So nope. So in here is fine. The the Miami one is gonna, is pretty much gonna end here. So that'll be perfectly fine on that platform. Yeah, and it's good to check this platform, by the way. Doesn't utilize both sides. Why did that not utilize both sides? Oh, I suppose because of the old crisscross system, isn't it? Right, fair enough. You're all good over there. And it's on this side of the platform. Right, sweet. So we just got to give it time for that to now kind of work and come through before we start seeing passengers getting to the terminal. 
So while that's happening then, we should now kind of think about building the Panama one. So get the train station up. Now this probably doesn't need to be as big of a station as we've previously once created. The residential's around here, so the, uh, the industry's over there. So if I kind of then pause again, just so I can delete this real quick. And we'll extend the road going up. And that's pretty much going to be it. Okay. Don't need a long station, I, I I think. I don't see there being too much going on in Panama right now. So I'll put the station just here. And then we'll quickly edit it. So I will get... Don't get me wrong. I will get an extension of the platforms. But let me first get some train tracks on. Right, we'll do one platform each for the cargo on both sides. But the rest is all passenger. Uh, miscellaneous, we need the underpassage. I need the connection on the opposite side, which we'll probably do with a passenger building. Okay, not that size. This size, this size is okay, isn't it? Yeah. And keep it like that. Nothing too beautiful. Nothing too crazy. But it shall do the job. It shall do the job for us. So let's just quickly get some track all added in. Now we do need to turn here. And we will try and utilize this running straightness of the train track. So in reality, it would be nice to kind of complete all of this on said bend like this. Right, let's quickly throw all this together. The old crisscross, which I shouldn't have any issues on this one. Do you know what? Turns out I do. I have issues on these crisscrosses no matter where I go. Could not be possible, Sadiac. Could not be possible. we we'll just go a little bit longer to get that all in. So here. Is that enough of a bend? Yeah. I'll be happy with that one. So then we need to bring these in together. Which is always easier to kind of go from here. Actually, do you know what we'll do? from that signal there. Making sure that this is all in. From that signal just there. So back into play mode now. Oh, no, 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 no. Again, I know some of these don't need to be in, but it just helps my OCD, okay? There we go. And then the crisscross just here. And then we'll extend on this side then. And then we can actually get the train tracks all in. I mean the train tracks, like the, the line all in. So wiggling for a nice little connection. Bringing that into there, bringing this into here. There we go. Perfect. So now I can build the next run. Now I can build the next run, which is great stuff. I actually like how that, that, that train track there kind of goes around the coastline. Works wonderfully. I didn't get, that. get out of here, sir! I'm not talking to you! But at the same time, I'm going to say it right now. I could actually kind of do a nice little bend. Oh, is the OCD going to kick in again? I ain't going to lie, guys. The OCD is kicking in again. I'm having a bad day, okay? <laughs> 
I'm having a bad day. And if I'm gonna suffer, you guys are gonna suffer watching it. <laughs> right. There we go. Okay, that feels better. That feels better. Okay, there we go. Longer run on the routes. So then another new line. Passenger line from Miami to St. Petersburg. Straight into Panama. All the way into New Orleans. And then back to Panama. Um, St. Petersburg. And then we end up in Miami. So... Miami's fine there, making sure it does the, the correct thing over here. So as it comes through, it needs to be on number one. And then when it comes back through here, it's on number two. Yep. Needs to do the same thing here. So in Panama, be on... Oh, for this one, it is number one. Uh, and then number two, sorry, and this one, as it comes back through, is number one. And then we'll make it stop, which it does anyway. Make it stop here. Because that's the end route for it. So that's perfect. Hasn't got to mess around with any other stuff going on down here. Now, trains, stations. We don't have one near, do we? No. Um, right, we're going to have to pull it from over here again as well. Again, not a problem. It's just a little bit of a longer of a travel before we can actually start to see it working. So is this one going to be busy? Uh, potentially, yes. So we'll give us 162 capacity as well. And this is now line two, all up and running. Very good. Very good. Right, is this original one got itself over here yet? There's people waiting. I don't think it's actually got here right now, but there is people waiting at the uh, station. Anyway. I'm not sure where the train's coming from. It's not you. I'm not sure which way it would have came from. Is it you? No. I mean, we are still waiting for it to kind of get down here, aren't we? I'm just not sure where it's coming from. But that's okay. You know, give us a little bit more of a wait time because we still got to wait for the other one to get down here as well. But there's someone waiting at Panama right now, so it just shows you that these are going to be intertwined and connected. So all of a sudden, we've just got this whole little kind of section over here all intertwined and now connected and ready to rock and roll. So all I'm now missing is the Nashville one, and then we have two routes, or three, sorry, three routes running into New Orleans, which we'll have to extend over to Houston eventually. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect right now. We are now connecting to even more cities, which is going to make the place even more busier. Right, where is this train here going? Is it going to do a right? No, you are not the chosen one. It could be this one here, guys. Let's see how this one now disappeared those out. Nope. Oh, no, you're on the other side. <laughs> It's on the other side, that one. I forgot about that. Wait, what train is this? Charlotte to Pittsburgh? That is an old train. I will replace them, don't worry. I will replace them. So this train's going in that direction. So maybe it's coming. Maybe it is still coming through. Do you know what? Easiest thing to do. Line one. Oh, it's only just came out. Oh, because I've had the game in pause the whole time, haven't I? I just realised I had the game in pause the whole time. Oh, I'm so foolish. There's me thinking it's actually closer than what it is, but it's not. <laughs> okay. Nashville. You're my next victim. Building-wise, again... I mean, to be honest with you, I, I, this could be a big city. It will be, um, you know having the goods delivered from around us so i do need to be technically careful about how much i do destroy in this area but i feel like i could i'm going to run it on i feel like i'm going to run it on this side here thus not to destroy too much of the industry so i'm going to run it on this road here yep 
is what I'll do. And we'll we'll go for quite a big one here. Let me just get the actual street connections in there. And then obviously run that down. Uh, station. Nice and big. So we'll place the, place the passenger face in this way. Alright, let's get it on the other side. Because sometimes the city likes to bounce back and grow. As you delete some stuff. You know, I'll put it back into play right now. I think we'll be okay. Because these rows are technically not connected. So they'll, they'll build them where the connectivity is. He seems starting to build little roads all the way around us. <laughs> right, okay, let me delete the uh, couple of platforms here. And we'll go and place replace these with cargo. Passenger platform now. And then this will be my last station of today. As we're going to start servicing all of the uh, cities right now with, uh, with intercity bus routes. Um, passenger building on this side, that will do us justice, and you don't need to, but I like to get a little bit of a cargo here and there in, I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze anything to do with cargo on that side, but we'll get it on that side anyway, throw one in just there, why not, why not, squeeze it in mate, squeeze it in, uh, and then we just need to kind of get these all up and running, so train tracks bringing you straight out, for some reason that is not playing ball with me, Right, into there. Get the old crisscross there. That one there is then done. So this route here is going to connect up to my... Remember the, when I built my little um, crissy crossy... My first train junction in this game? Well, there's only one side of that train junction which is technically not kind of connected. Which is... Da -da 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 -da, just here. And for the first time ever, we're going to get a, a train connection coming on the, uh, that, down this one side. Oh, what did I just do? What? I just pressed the X button. What an idiot. There we go. Which I've got to upgrade it. It's that long ago I built it. It's not high speed anymore. Well, anymore. It's not high speed in general. Alright, the snap is just here. Just enough for the bend. Run this all the way down. Well, I did a signature this moment. I'm loving that. That feels good. <laughs> that feels real good right now. So now I've got to try and do the same thing here. So, following the snap. And then bend that in. And then run this all the way down. Voila. We are now connected. There's a train there coming through as well. See, that feels good. That feels real good. <laughs> right, let's get these signals up and running. We can get our third train line all up and running for today. So where's the crisscross just here? And then just here real quick, bam bam. Now I do need to do some terraform as well on some of these train tracks, I'll do that a little bit later. I have this one facing the wrong way. And I do need to upgrade all of this to high-speed rail. So, for, and, and electric as well. So, we'll first upgrade it to high-speed rail. And there we go. You don't realize how much train track is here until you have to kind of technically upgrade it. Uh, 
I wish you could like hold down shift and it does all the rail until the next junction. You know, like when you play City Skylines, you can do speed limits and you can you can hold like shift to do all the road until the next junction. And I wish you didn't undo it. I'd rather it have its own separate undo tool. Right, that is now all done. Electric. I think high speed is automatically electric, isn't it? Is that how it works? But that's then pretty much good to go. So I can create my next one. And we're going to start it in... De Do I want to start in Detroit or Chicago? Hmm. I, I like the idea of Detroit. I like the idea of Detroit. I mean, we have lines coming to Detroit. There's always potential and ability for me to take the lines elsewhere from Chicago. I'm going to have this one from Detroit. Why not? Why not? Straight into Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, into New Orleans. Back up to Nashville. And it will then go back to Detroit. So making sure it's on the correct platforms right now. I actually change the color of it so I can see. It's got to be pink, isn't it? That's what all my uh, passenger line colors are. Uh, so Nashville. Got to be on platform one as you first come in. Uh, when it comes down to New Orleans, we're going to get it to utilize the... Here. Um, this one. Keeping them all separate. It's the name of the game. Because all our passion, the rest of our passion lines are up on this side. So I've got to keep them all separate. And then obviously when it's in uh, Detroit, it's on number one. Which I might flip it. Oh, wait, it doesn't need to be flipped over. No, we'll keep it like that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And then, obviously, buy the train for it. So, we'll go you, cargo, passenger, sorry. Bam. On, which would now technically be called line three. There we go. So, three new routes now all created, and they all run in to New Orleans. Two of these routes will terminate in Houston, but at least we got the backbone of it all set up for now. And then we'll just kind of give it more time, see how it rock and rolls, and then see which lines need more trains. No uh, more trains or just bigger capacity. So something's happened right now. Oh. Okay, I see. So the issue there is when a train comes out of Charlotte right now, we have these signals way too close to one another. Signals are a bit too close to one another. Thus causing this issue. Actually, I'm deleting the wrong signals. Deleting the wrong signals there, boys. So if I have no signals leaving the station, if anyone's coming from this way, this way, because the crisscross is so close, it's just easier to let them come in and out a whole lot easier. There we go. No warnings. We solved that bug. It wasn't a bug. It was a feature. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. Right. Let's take a look at some bus routes then. And I think New York City is the best kind of one for it. So what I was originally saying is uh, when you click on the station, you can see the catchment area of the station and all the buildings that glow white. Now, obviously, these guys over here... It's like the train station doesn't exist for them. That's pretty much how it works. So if I create a nice little loop to try and illuminate as much of uh, New York as I can and then back to the train station, it will then bring more passengers to us, which is amazing. But I also feel, feel like we need to have another crossing just here so I can truly invest in a proper looped system. But how would I without driving through the train station i reckon what i do is pause slightly destroyed new york city a bit more don't worry it will grow back we've proven this time and time again now i don't really want to do a crossing all right so what if i went down 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 oh there we go it's enough to force a bridge But 
But is it enough then from this side to come up to there? Uh, yes, it is. So I've forced a bridge. Great stuff. Even more connectivity. We now have three road crossings going over the train tracks. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So I'm then going to go to street construction. No, it's not street construction. It's buildings. There we go. I want a bus stop. That is what I want. A bus stop. And we'll create a bus loop. There we go. Having then again, it's going to make sure that we kind of pick up as many people as we can. Otherwise, this bus loop is then pointless. It's null and, null and void, as they would say. So there. So you can see the glow that we it creates. Actually, if I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that one. So I'm gonna bring it back down here. So what I've done in reality, right? And I don't know how you can see. I don't know how you could see this without. I'm not too sure, but hold. Let me let me just build this first. So we start there, and we'll change it to pink. So we, again, we can see this this route. And if I just select all my bus routes, and then we'll kind of have a look at it as an overview. Down to there, back up to here, to there. So it, it why does it start there and then go back? Laurel Street. Lakeview. Hillcrest. Oh, did I set the another one twice? Laurel Street, Ash Street. Wait, it's not even on this one. Can I? Can you move these? How do you? How do you move them? Or reposition them? Is there a way that you can move them? Right, I'm going to do this again. What, 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 a sh what, a, what an abysmal system. Let's try this again, guys. I don't know how I messed that up. There we go. <laughs> right, so what it does, it starts here, for example, train station, important. Goes along here, picks people up there, picks people up there. And this is kind of covering everywhere around. And when it gets to here, it's a quite a great radius. It then comes back in and drops off the train station while then going back up to here, which covers this radius up there, down there, radius, and back again. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. We just need the city to extend in reality more down this way. So that's what it does. I don't know how you would see the catchment area. That one station there, look at a catch an area for that. Same with this one. It covers all the way up. This covers all the way up to there, but obviously, you know, you just give people the ability not to walk that far. Interesting. So we're going to need a road depot. There we go. And I'll throw it up here in the hills. Now we want an electric bus. We want electric buses. I could go for these, which carry... Are these electric? No, it's a diesel. Oh, this is the electric one. It only carries 17 people, though, but it is electric. It's the only electric bus we've got. So I could go for... Let's start with six. Let's start with six, which will be line four. And see what happens with that. It could be too many buses. It could be not enough buses. Because the problem you have, right, if it completely loads up on people, let's say, after this station here, say everybody wants to go to the train station. If it loads up on people here, it's got to then go all through here until it unloads over there. That's why I give it two unloading kind of points. But let's just see what happens. 
I mean, in, in, in the future, I could add in bigger buses. I could add in more buses. It just depends on... Ultimately, how busy it's going to be. Now, with the buses doing their circulations, there's people now going to be waiting at the bus stops. As you can now see. It just determined. I mean, it's going to be more busy around here. There's already 17 people waiting there, so one bus is going to be ultimately filled up. That bus already is filled up. So nobody got on the bus. Same there. We need more buses. <laughs> like I said, I could go for higher capacity ones, but I'm I'm thinking of the environment. Well, I'm gonna buy another six. Just so there's always a bus coming. There's always a bus arriving, boys. And then all ready. Ultimately, New York is then, with the bus routes, fully linked up uh, to the train station. It, it's wonderful. And that's what we kind of need to do in many of the cities right now, to kind of encourage more passenger usage, but also at the same time, uh, bulk up the city's demands and needs. Got Siri, stop! Why is Siri always listening to me? It's the FBI, guys. The FBI is like, oh, brought up. I don't know why these roads aren't connecting all the way down. But we are now. We are now. Right then, so. Let's get some more in on these then. So, we'll have the ultimate... I mean, we can have multiple stops here. But we have the ultimate stop just there. And then we'll kind of bring it... So, with that there, we'll bring this one down to here. So, there. There. We'll go into here. And there you go. We'll go here. We'll go just there. Opposite side of the train station. Because there is a building to connect us in. We'll then come this way around to one just here. I'm going to delete that road. That's an awkward looking road, isn't it? Which is connected over to there. Down there. To here. And have a last stop just there. So that's quite a lot. It the, the the they feel very awkwardly placed. I ain't gonna lie. But the city is quite awkward with how it's kind of grown. So you just gotta do what you've got to do in reality. So that would do everything that we needed to do. It has three points in which it kind of take the passengers off the bus route onto the train station. So you, you get three points in which you're able to do that. Now, learning from our disasters over in New York, I say disasters, it wasn't really a disaster. We'll do 10 buses on this one. I don't expect it to be as busy as New York, but I've given us the option to kind of make sure that we kind of cover it. So we shouldn't see now, I don't think this is gonna to be too busy. The cargo capacity versus people utilizing it is very, very, it's half. I got double the amount of buses I need. I could keep it as it is, just to future-proof myself, as New York gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So there's always that, that kind of uh, aspect. I'm going to delete that road there. Because I'm going to create another uh, passage. So I bring that and then bring this this way. Can I get this connected up? No, it's a little bit uh, too far back. Right, this is not going to work. I'm hoping. What I'm hoping is, let me delete that. What's the gradient change like? 
All right, bend this back around again. But if I bring that slightly down with me as well, I've got a little bit of a vantage point. All right, just as it changes. There we go. There we go. So another crossing just there, just to kind of give New York the ability to extend further down that way if it wants to. There's roads that intertwine and connect. Uh, one road that I need to delete in Boston, by the way. It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, delete you. Uh, and this is where you just got to give the city a helping hand in growing. There's areas where you kind of have to work with them. And assist their growth. I have no idea why this is a dirt road. Again, I'll help them out. <laughs> so you just got to do what you've got to do in reality. Like, there's room down here. To need to bring this out. Where I'll connect like that. Have a connection there. Just to kind of make the city more intertwined and grow a bit more. You just got to give them a little, little kick up the booty <laughs> in what direction that they are allowed to extend it. But um, we'll see what happens right now. Are we getting. We've got so many more people now waiting here. Oh my goodness me. Right, manage the vehicles on this. I reckon we need to now duplicate. And have an additional train on this route because we are there is no way in this world that we are managing to move the people enough so many more demands now being created now we can kind of connect the city up a, a lot better so we need we need an additional train we really do look at this here look at this monstrosity right what we're going to do here is we're going to reclaim some land so I could ultimately connect the city there. It's decided to connect there. And I have no idea why. Right, pause. I, I understand why they're trying to do it. Because that remains as a grid format. There we go. And I'm going to reclaim this. You just gotta help the city, guys. That's what you gotta do is help the city grow. Running that into there. I'm gonna run that here. Now that's gonna come into like that. And that then is gonna allow the city to do some more growth. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Uh, but at the moment, it doesn't really give us great coverage. I reckon we need to add in another platform or two. That that one building on this place down now gives us access to all these buildings around here. You, you see how it works? It's crazy how simple this game can be at times. Interesting. Right, Charlotte right now. You're looking so busy. Uh, Boston to Charlotte. I feel like we need a... I feel like we might need a fourth train on this route. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I ain't going to lie to you. I feel like we need a fourth train on this route. There we go. I mean, I could expand the current trains on here we've got now. But the, the, the infrequency we've got them coming in just feels like we need four in total. And the Boston to Chicago run as well. Let me manage this one. We'll add an additional train on this. Right, uh, Boston, this one here. Let me manage this line. When it's in Boston. Oh, we can't use the other platform because it's not a passenger. Yeah, makes sense. Well, I just picked everybody up right there. So, again, we're now shifting people with ease. Boston to Charlotte. People are getting picked up right now. 
It was in the blue. It weren't looking too good. It weren't looking too good. That's when you start losing people. But making progress. It's the name of the game. It's the name of the game. Progression. So how are we doing elsewhere then? So over here, yeah, I'm looking busy. Again, we've only got really got one train on these runs. But it is now pretty cool to see that we're all now linked up. How is New Orleans looking? So I don't expect it to be too busy over here at this moment in time. This line there, I think it's just picked up, hasn't it? Is that line free? Yes. And that's going straight all the way up now to Detroit. Interesting. So it's a case of now then. We are starting to shift a lot of people. So this is where we need to then kind of, you know, reevaluate stuff. Yo, Miami's quite big of a city, isn't it? I feel what's also letting Miami down slightly is the land of these random bits of water, little lakes covered in. That'll really help us out with uh, growing the city a bit more. And getting some bigger buildings. Same goes for like the Bahamas and stuff like that. We, we kind of need to think about investing money into the Caribbean. Like here, there is there is ease there for a road. And now we get some nice beachfront properties. <laughs> I like it. I'm like I'm loving it right now. Right, a lot of people here are still waiting. So the uh, Charlotte to Miami. We might. How many trains? We got two trains on this. But they do get filled up. So we need to manage the vehicles. Add a additional one on. Very good, sir. Over here is back to normal right now. How is the bus route doing? So we might have too many buses on that route. But that's okay. Enough buses on that route as well. So we're okay. So I think we've got ourselves now covered. On the old passenger side of things. I feel like we've really got ourselves now covered on the passenger side of things. We will have to add more trains to these new routes, and we do need to kind of continue the expansions, but I feel like we need to show a little bit more love to the Caribbean, boys. Uh, we've had a little bit of a growth spurt recently, but hopefully we can grow the Bahamas a little bit more. They require fuel. So that is something that we got to look into shortly, is creating a little oil run. How are we doing over here as well? These don't want to grow, do they? The Turks Islands. Not really. They've got room and space to grow. Could I extend the road slightly? Okay, so me, me, me extending the road has made them grow slightly. So this, is what it, this is what it's all about. Investments, boys. Investments. Another additional road. Oh, damn. Damn. Right, let's invest a little bit more in these islands. It is expensive. But if I get these islands with more people on, it means they fill my boats up a little bit more. You know what I mean? Your boys' boats get filled a bit more. Yeah, boy. This boat here. Finances never turned a profit. I need to rejig the boat system as well. That's something else I need to do. But I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll end it for here. And we'll play around with it next episode. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. Bye.